So now I'll be learning how to build applications from using Expo, right? So I will close this Canva, I'll close this unnecessary tabs and this, this. Here instead I'll search for build, uh, build SDA and SDA and DLO and standalone, uh, yeah, build standalone app Expo and I will click on this first link and I will read the documentation, right? So it's too easy, right? So we need to make changes in our app.json file and we need to add this package, right? So this is basically a unique identifying name of our application. So here we can add a unique identifying name to our application, right? So yeah, and we need to add this version code. And uh, you know, you need to increase this version code every time when you are submitting an update to your application, right? Yeah, so you need to increment that when you, when you are update, submitting an update to your application. So for now we'll be putting this one. Okay, so let me copy this control C. For now we'll be building only for Android, but if, if you want you can build for iOS as well, right? Uh, just for you can follow the documentation. For now we'll be building for Android. Control C and I will go to app.json and I will here control V and I will give a comma in here, right? So let's uh, give change this package name. So here I can put let's say CNQ. CNQ means coders never quit and let's give it a name of yt clone you can put whatever name you want feel free to put whatever name you want right here okay now here version code is one for fine and remember we need to update that whenever we are building for the next time right whenever we want to submit an update to our app store right okay so we need to increment this version code okay yeah i think this is it for now maybe we can get rid of this ios or maybe we can add the ios it doesn't make much of the difference right okay so let's add this as well so we'll be adding these two things, right? Control C and we can, I can get rid of this from below, right? Instead, I will add this here, Control V and yeah, you can put uh, whatever name you want, right? Uh, CNQ dot YT clone, like so. Now what we need to do is let's read the documentation a little bit. So to build in a and so build for Android, we need to type expo build and colon and Android. It's too easy to build, right? So we'll, we'll just copy this command, uh, this command, control C, and uh, I will open my terminal. Make sure your development server is running, right? You need to run your development server, right? And make sure you are running this. Our development server, right? What we say this, uh, this macro bundler. Make sure you uh, this is open, right? And yeah, open another terminal in that same directory, right? And here, do a right click, expo build colon android, and hit enter, right? Now, if you are running this command for the very first time, this will ask, right, to sign up in your expo account. So if you don't have an account, your ex your project must have an android package set in app dot js what the heck is this maybe i haven't saved my app uh, okay let's save this app.json okay i i forgot to save right uh yeah so what i was saying is if you are running this command for the very first time this will ask you to sign up in your expo account right it will ask for signing up so right if you have if you don't have uh, if you haven't created your account to expo you can go to this expo and create your account right so you can create your account here right okay but uh, I have already created, so I will, uh, and I have logged into my account. So this is not asking me to log into my account, but if you are running this command for the very first time, this will ask you to log into your account, right? So make sure you do that. Now it is asking for me to uh, upload a key store file, right? So it is giving me two options. One is let Expo handle the process. And second is I want to upload my own key store. Now here, remember, remember always upload your own key store. Uh, so we'll be selecting two. Now the reason for that is, you know, in order to generate signed APK, we need to attach a key store file and key st you can consider of this key store file a unique certificate that you are attaching with your application, which proves that you are the developer of this application, right? So yeah, so in order to generate signed APK, we need to upload key store, right? And why we need signed APK? Because you can upload only signed APK to app stores, right? So in order to generate signed APK. Uh, you need to upload key store now if you will select this first option then also you'll be able to generate signed apk that now in the first option what expo does is expo uses their own key store file right 
to create a sign epic and and, and you, you should you should not do that uh, because you know whenever you want to submit your update right to your application let's say you want to submit your next update to your application uh, in that case you need to sign your apk with the same key store right you cannot sign that with a different key store let's say for the for very first time you build your application with expo right and you used expo key store provided by expo now for the second time you want to submit the an uh, update to that application but uh, for the second time you are you, you build application with react native cli and you use different key store then you cannot submit a uh, update to the uh, that existing application right so remember always upload your own key store now you need to create a key store file in android studio right you can create a key store file in android studio or you can use the apk signer tool you can google apk signer then you can create from that as well right so i have already created so i will find my yeah so i have uh, pasted this in this folder right so mukeshvine66.keystore this is my key store file so i need to copy this location control c and where is my terminal so i'll push this uh, i will uh, write here 2 and i will hit enter right so here it is asking me to path to key store so i will do a right click uh, okay so i need to again go to here i need to uh, what is this is this showing to me okay control c i will do again a control c uh, i just copied a wrong path right I will again do a right click in here and inside this I have Mukesh uh, 66ke and I will hit enter or oh, file doesn't exist maybe I have made a typo yeah p h u l w a n i like so I will hit enter now it is asking me for key store alias so you while creating your key store you might have created this key store alias and all so I will just put here Mukesh P and G. And it is asking me for password. I don't remember my password, but let's try. Uh, my password is okay. So I added my password so password was hidden so you cannot see that now it is publishing to channel default it is publishing iOS why it is publishing iOS bundle I don't I didn't told the, uh, this CLI to build it for iOS okay let's see what it does so it is doing the process for us so all we need to do is wait right all we need to do for now is wait let's see if this doesn't throw any error so make sure your this this is running right your development server is running right this one this metro bundler right make sure this is running and now, now, now let's wait for a few seconds now here you can see this has provided us a url where we can uh, what we can do you can checking if build already exists so it is uh, publish your url is this so our application will be published on this url right you can monitor build at this url okay so let's copy this url and let's see right let's see what it shows control c and control v and uh, status sent to queue right so our application in the queue is in the queue right okay so it may take a little bit time right so let's wait for a few seconds so what expo does is expo builds uh, application on their server on remote server right so we don't need to uh, have a heavy machine for building an application because Expo uses their servers to build an application, right? Okay, so let's wait for a few more seconds. Now it is showing build in progress, right? So status in progress now here. I think we can see uh, all the running riddles, all the progress in here, maybe. Yeah, it is doing something. So let's wait for a few seconds. So I, I, what I will do, I will pause my video and I will resume once it's, it's done, right? So once it's done, I will be resuming my video. So let's wait for this build in progress to finish. And I think it's done. So successfully build standalone APK and we can navigate to this link or you know, we can click in this download, right? So let's click on this download button or you can navigate to this link as well. So here we see, uh, we can see our application is being downloaded. So I'll go to this and yeah 
uh, you can see it is uh, here we can, you can see signed apk is generated right and its apk size is 40 oh, 49 mb it's too big i know and we cannot do much with the expo much of the customization with expo rights so we cannot do uh, reduce the size right if you if we are using expo but uh, our development process was quite smoother right we enjoyed right we enjoyed while uh, learning react native right that is why we made use of expo now in next projects we'll be making use of react native cli right we'll be making our next project in react native cli and we'll be, we and we will see the differences between expo and react native cli then you will be uh, figuring out the differences right what are the differences between expo and cli right in terms of code right so there is no difference actually so if you can make this YouTube clone using Expo, you can make this YouTube clone project with React and Dev CLI. Not big, not big deal, right? So only thing you which you need to change in the code part is let me sh te tell you. Only thing which you need to do change in the code part is this. Uh, uh, let me go to this. Uh, not this. Let's go. Let's go to search screen. Uh, this uh, a vector icon. So uh, uh, so we have used this vector icons from Expo. So we need to install this vector icon package, right? In case of React Native CLI, because we have made use of icons from Expo. So here only the so you you need to make changes here only, right? So you need to make changes here only. So wherever you have used this at that Expo vector icon, instead of this, you, we need to install our, our custom library, right? Our vector icons library in case of React Native CLI and import the icons from that library, right? Not from Expo. This is this is this will be only difference in case of React Native CLI, right? If you uh, what you can do now, you can eject, right? You can type the command. You can uh, here see that we have this eject, so you can eject from this Expo, right? And uh, you can install the vector icons library, and you can replace this import statement, right? All you need to do is uh, replace this import statement, right? You don't need to make changes in the code part, right? You can replace this import statement. Okay? Let me show you. Uh, let me google this vector v v e c t o r icon uh, in react native mm. and let me scroll down further right so you need to install this right manually right and let's have a look uh, on how to use this so yeah in order to use that you need to do this way right you can write here iron icon and you can uh, write this and slash iron icon right if you're using material icon you can write material icon react Native vector icon slash material icon like so this is the only thing which you need to change right rest everything is just fine so now let's see if the downloads completed, right? So I will click on the show on folder and what I will do, I will open my emulator and I will, and I will install this on my emulator, right? Let's see if our icon is changed. So we don't have enough of the storage in here. Oh, so what I will do, I will clear some of the apps. So uh, I can uninstall this expo for now. Let's see and let's install this again and i think it's done yeah here you can see our custom icon is being added here if you open this we can see our splash screen beautiful amazing and here is our application right okay so this is how you can build your application right you can share this application with your friends right okay so this is it for now. In the next section, we'll be working on React Native CLI, building application using React Native CLI. So I'll see you guys in the next video.